okay so uh, very good evening everybody now uh, today i'm could be i'm going to be talking about how you can use ai in uh, governance and checking compliances of any statutory audit of a company which you might be doing and i'm here to tell you that when you say ai a lot of people here might think that it's something about technical scientific or uh, something about engineering and coding and all that stuff but what if i tell you that you can check compliances from hundreds and thousands of documents hundreds and thousands of pages just within few seconds in a process which is as simple as messaging another person right before i begin my live demonstration let me just uh, brush up about compliance itself when we talk about compliance the one thing which comes to our mind is adherence to laws regulations guidelines and other rules which are relevant and prevalent to any particular entity here in this use case due to the paucity of time i have taken companies act and sebi lodia regulations and i'm going to be discussing examples like whether the company has taken the number of board meetings which is required to be taken as per the companies act or whether the composition of board of directors is in accordance with companies act sebi lodia regulations so on and so forth and then certain parameter based rules like if your turnover is so and so if your net worth is so and so then internal audit is applicable caro is applicable and eventually how as auditors we can use ai to document all this process and make our lives easier and more efficient and accurate now when we speak about doing these tasks this can definitely be done manually right but there are three major problems while manually checking all these things uh, simply because of the sheer volume of data which one might have to process for example if it's a listed company there might be minutes of the board meeting there might be internal policy procedures control documents uh, various sorts of hierarchical structures and so on and so forth there can be many documents right instead of manually going through all these documents we can use ai to analyze all at once so manual process is time consuming what's the other error other issue the other issue is human error no matter how much learned we are no matter how much experience we have there can be an there can be a situation where we miss out on certain paragraph or certain content which was required to be complied or analyzed by us and overall if we look at all all these data sets the vast number of data sets it might lead to inefficiency in audit delay in timing and eventually resulting in a poor quality of service so how ai overcomes these challenges is the answer first of all ai is time saving it collects the data quickly and analyzes it within seconds with regards to human error since ai uses machine language nlps machine learning so on and so forth algorithms the risk of human error is minimum and with regards to inefficiency obviously if the ai is processing the data at this speed this pace and this accuracy the overall quality of the audit is increased and efficiency and the audit is done efficiently what are the steps you may ask as i said earlier it's as simple as talking to another person it's as simple as sending a message to another person so the first step is upload that relevant documents we all use whatsapp we all forward messages we all forward videos photos and things like that it's as simple as that upload these documents draft a required prompt this is one of the specific things which you need to learn about ai as chartered accountants the more specific and concise your draft will be the more relevant and correct the answer of ai will be and eventually at the end you'll have to generate review the generated draft but this is going to reduce your work from going through all the pages one by one to just going through these specific focus pages which the ai has generated so i'm going to take you to a use case and i have used a public uh, uh, document which is a reliance annual report for the previous year 22 23 and i'm using chat gpt here so again the aim is to keep ai simple the aim is to make you all understand that using ai in your daily practice is nothing which you required uh, specific skills or knowledge for so here i have attached the annual report of reliance international limited and here i need to check compliance with companies act and sebi lodia regulations with regards to the parameters i discussed earlier like the board meeting minutes uh, number of board meetings held during the year composition of board of directors and so on So I've written the prompt here that I need to check for compliance with Companies Act and SEBI LODIA regulations for this document. Since this is an annual report, I have to specifically mention here that please do not take any information from the audit report. Only use information provided by the management or board report or other information which is available in that document. Now, in real life case, 
There might be minutes of the board meeting, there might be policy control documents, procedures, and such other written representations which you might receive from the management. All you need to do is attach all of them together in this one single prompt. So once I hit enter, it provides me with an overall picture. It says that the document provides various instances of compliances with Companies Act and SEBI regulations. Then it goes deeper into the different act. With regards to Companies Act, it says that it's, pro it's uh, overall complying with the provisions of the act. The board is properly constituted with the balance of executive, non-executive, and independent directors. And regular board meetings are conducted with adequate notice, and the detailed agenda is also there. With regards to SEBI regulations, regulation 17 to 27 and regulation 46 to B to I have also been complied with. There have been certain penalties uh, from SEBI, but these have been addressed through legal channels. So basically, this is also giving us points of focus while conducting the audit in that particular company. Now, once I go into details with these particular points, so this was the overview. So now I'm going to delve into details, right? So I just asked Chad GPT that please give me the specifics about the compliance with regards to number of board meetings held, the composition of board of directors, and I wanted to draw a comparative between what's required as per the Companies Act or SEBI regulations and what the company has done. So once I hit enter, it provides me with the detailed response where it says that the number of board meetings held as per Companies Act, it should be four board meetings with a maximum gap of 120 days between two consecutive meetings. With regards to Reliance, it held six board meetings and it provides us with the dates of those meetings. With regards to composition of board of directors, it uh, provides us that the balance of uh, executive, non-executive and independent directors should be proper. And at least one third of the uh, board should be independent directors and one with the women director. With regards to RIL, it says it comprises of 13 directors, diversity in gender, nationality and expertise. And it analyzes the ratio of the directors and it provides us a table right here stating that the independent directors are 53%, non-independent directors are 46%, women directors are 15 Indian directors 76 and with regards to foreign directors. So essentially it has just uh, provided us percentage with regards to the board meetings as to what was, uh, who attended the board meetings and in what ratio the quorum was formed. And it also provides us information about the directors if it was there in the document. Here in this document, there's information about directors like their key skills, expertise, SEBI regulations uh, accordingly. Uh, then next is uh, where it uh, says that it has complied with regulation 17 to 27 and regulations 46 to B to I. And it just provides a summary comparative analysis where it says that overall, the company is following the regulations of Companies Act and SEBI LODR as well. And the third point which I wanted to discuss with you was with regards to the applicability of certain laws or regulations which are uh, threshold based or which are parameter based. I've used a simple example here of Caro because as this is a listed company, we all know that Caro and internal audit will be applicable on that. But it's important to understand how this GPT is functioning and how this GPT is analyzing this data and providing us the results. So first of all, it provides us with the general requirements of Caro 2020. And with regards to compliance with RAL, it says that CARO report has been issued by the auditors and it's a part of the independent auditors report. And there are no qualifications or adverse, rem adverse remarks in that report. With regards to internal audit, it provides us with the parameters of what company is required to perform internal audit, which have, get internal audit done. And that RIL has robust internal audit systems in place, co-sourced with professional firms, which reports directly to the audit community, committee. And towards the end, it summarizes everything with a comparative tabular analysis. Now, why am I discussing this earlier? And why am I discussing all this? I mean, you can simply watch all this, see all this through the documents and do all the compliance yourself, right? But let me just tell you, sometimes the compliance is run in this quantity. This is the annual report itself. And you can see I am at page number 232 right now. This is where they have provided the information with regards to the brief profile of directors, including their area of expertise. and. Uh, just a few pages ahead, there is the percentages of the directors. Uh, this is the num um, board meetings which have been conducted during the year. So six board meetings and the uh, respective dates and what is the attendance of the director. And finally, a few pages ahead more. There's the composition of board of directors. Uh, sorry, uh, I think. Yeah. And then there is the composition of board of directors. So as you can understand, instead of going through these 230, 240, 250 pages, 300 pages, 600 pages, I can simply attach the entire documents, not just one, but many documents, 
let GPT analyze it, give me the results, I can ask GPT what pages it has taken or generated this information from and I can simply look through those documents itself, thereby saving time and enhancing quality in the audit as well. So, um, I think this was my time, so thank you very much for uh, being a patient listener. Yeah.